Hey, this is Anthony Cesari with SuccessForYourSongs.com, and in this video, we're going to be looking at a songwriting example that takes a common song structure and puts a little twist on it to make it more exciting than usual. So let's dive right in. This one is "Lucky" by Jason Mraz and Colby Calais. It's more of a, a rearranging of a familiar structure. So "Lucky" basically rearranges and twists around the commonly used. A, B, A, B, C, B structure, which is also known as a verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge structure. So this song does something like this. It has this A section from the start to uh, about 47 seconds in, which is its verse. Um, so then after that, from about 47 seconds to 110, now we're seeing our chorus, which is, again, a pretty standard move. Uh, and the chorus starts on the line, lucky I'm in love with my best friend, if you're listening along to the video. Um, and also take note that the chorus was repeated only once this time around. Uh, and it ends on a melody that sings um, ooze at about a minute one into the track. So in our next section, now we have a, a section C. And this one starts on the phrase, they don't know how long it takes. Um, for when you're listening to that. And this is where the twisting around starts to happen. Normally, we would expect this section to go back to the verse or the A section, but instead, here, we're introduced to this whole new section in this bridge, which is an interesting move because now we're three sections into the song and all three of those sections have been different from each other so far, uh, which is not very typical of most song structures. So after that, we have uh, the fourth section of the song, from about a minute 30 to about two minutes, where we get back to some familiarity with a repeat of the chorus. And it's actually, this chorus is a little bit different from the first time we heard it, in that this time the chorus is repeated twice, and that ooh section of the melody has been omitted uh, from the end of the chorus. So this chorus is a little bit different from the previous one. After that, we go back to a verse, uh, which is interesting because we've already listened to a substantial chunk of this song and now we finally get back to the second verse at two minutes in. So normally at two minutes in, we wouldn't just be starting a second verse because of that bridge that showed up early in their song. It's pushing this verse way back. And then after that, um, we get two more B sections or two more choruses, this double chorus, which adds that ooh melody back to the end of the section as an outro. And that melody where they're singing ooze, uh, which starts at about three minutes, that's twice as long as it was the first time we heard it in the very first chorus. And it's interesting to note that each chorus was a little bit different from the last, which created this sense of change within its familiarity. Uh, that first chorus was only repeated once and ended with that melody that sung the ooze. Uh, the second chorus repeated twice and then om omitted those ooze. And then the third chorus repeated twice and added back those um, <clears throat> melody lines on the ooze, which, um, and this time it did it two times. So again, it creates that familiarity, and, but also this sense of change as, as it's moving throughout the song, which is interesting. So aside from the way this song handled its overall structure, it also created some different but interesting moves in the way it handled the repetition of its choruses, which is, which is cool. And when you see these things being done in songs, um, you realize how you can start to modify your own songs when you're writing them, if you don't want to stick specifically to existing song structures. All right, so hopefully that information helps you out. If you're looking for other ways to make your songs more memorable so that your listeners will want to hear them and download them, I've got a free cheat sheet for you right below this video. So if you don't have that already, please grab it there. Thanks for checking this out. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.